Hello everybody, it's Michelle here. I know we've got a lot of stuff going on, so let's just pull some cards. Let's see what's coming up for us. Uh, as of the recording of this, there's been another train derailment in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, there's a fire in Kissimmee, Florida, I understand. All right, we've got six of Michael. We'll talk about it. Let me get the whole story out here. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm not showing you yet. Hold on. I'm going to pull an extra one. Okay. I'm not here to tell you what's actually happening behind the scenes. That's not the work that I do, but I can tell you the energy around things so that you can uh, take that in, be prepped, do your own spiritual work, whatever that looks like. Just make sure it's high frequency. Okay. There has been so much bad information out there and just so many bad readings okay like from people who don't even they're not even they're not even real readers do you guys know that corporations have brought personalities in to sit there and fling cards in your face did you know that yeah we need to wake up okay there's a lot there's a dark side to social media <laughs> for sure so the first card out here we have is six of michael it's light at the end of the tunnel Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. People are going to be displaced. I keep saying this. You know, I said in the overview, the 2023 overview video, that things will be good if you know what good looks like. Okay. So I, I think I just heard that it, what is it? California just passed a law where, um, like if landlords have excessively raised the rent and the tenant can't afford it, they are responsible for the relocation cost. Paulus, Governor Paulus, can you bring that to Colorado like now? You know what else I would like to see? This isn't even like a real microphone. This is just like a clip microphone on my little stand. Whatever, Governor Paulus. Listen to me. We need that here in Colorado and I want refunded. I want refunded for all that back nonsense. These billion dollar real estate companies are killing us and making it so that we can't even have a roof over our heads. Thank you. So what are we talking about? So six of Michael, <laughs> if you notice, it's coming out of the storm. It, the storm is still there. It's still a rocky sea. There's still lightning happening all around us. But I'll tell you what, nothing's more effective to get us out of our stupor than a little lightning crash. Ooh, that wakes you up, doesn't it? That's what's happening right now. So, you know, and this is water. So I don't know. We know people in East Palestine. It's pronounced, as far as I know, East Palestine, not Palestine, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's Palestine. But anyway, uh, like Lima, Ohio. It's Lima, not Lima, like Peru. Okay, <laughs> see Lima. But anyway, um, we're in that process and we need to do everything we can really to make sure we're taking care of, I keep saying energy, but like taking care of our spiritual selves so our emotional and, and mental selves and physical selves can be healthy as well. Okay, so we have to, that. what will happen is when you are, and I've done this myself, where my home is getting messy, I'm not eating well, you know, I'm not eating good food, I'm eating like one meal a day and it was like cheese and crackers. Well, that's not going to do, <laughs> that's not going to do it, right? Or chocolate or something like that. Um, but where is that coming from? It could be a lot of different things. Who knows? But, you know, when you are working, at least I've experienced, just in my experience, where I stop and I feel like things are spinning out of control. I feel like my home is out of control. My eating is not great. Or uh, finances are, it's like, I, I swear to God, if one more bill comes in, that's like, what the heck is this? I don't even know who you are. Who's coming for my money now? How many of you can relate? One more, you know, raise in rent, you know, all of that kind of stuff. When I meditate, yes, things that weren't right for me fall apart and fall away. But I definitely start getting clarity. And I feel better. I feel at ease. I feel at peace. And I go, okay, it's not such a big deal to just clean up one room today. And maybe I'll do a little bit of work over here and do a little of this and a little of that. And then I'm going to sit back and relax. I'm going to read a book. It's nice. Okay. <laughs> so the six of Michael, 
on one level does talk about us getting, we're getting there, okay? But all this awakening stuff has to happen. And we, we are hard people to wake up. We don't wake up unless we're scared. And then we linger on to the fear. And that disempowers us. Pay attention. Let it wake you up. Do what you got to do, right? If it means offering help to other human beings, obviously do it. Um, and I'll tell you another thing. Warning, warning, this is a rant. I am so sick and tired of the content creators out there going, we don't want your thoughts and prayers. Lean in. I, I'm rattling everything on my desk and I'm thinking, lean in. Are there idiots out there who just say that flippantly and they don't mean it? Yep. Of course. There's a crystal that I'm rocking all over the place. I don't even know where it is. But when thoughts and prayers come from an authentic light soul, that's powerful. So knock it off. Quit making it a bad thing for people to say, Thoughts and prayers. I guess that is kind of dismissive. But when somebody comes in and <laughs> when somebody comes in and says, Hey, we're with you. We're praying. Even if you don't believe in that, if you don't believe in prayer, you don't need to go the opposite and start antagonizing people. And by the way, those of you who think that saying um certain hail blah, you know, um is funny. I'm gonna open that up to the entire spiritual community. When somebody is trying, maybe they're an atheist or whatever. And they're being facetious and they invoke certain names. Write it in the comments. What do you think is really going to happen to them? <laughs> like they're not getting it. They're not understanding. So let's just stop. Let's stop and realize that words are powerful. And again, if it's coming from a non-toxic person, it is helping. Whether you can see it or not, it is helping. And the problem is, is that I live in the United States. We've got the whole world thinking they know how we function and they don't we're a very privileged country of course and a lot of us have way more than most people in the world but it boggles my mind when people have this opinion that we're such a rich country oh i said it Did i bother you a little bit let me say it again not to bother you more i'm just saying like we really need to bring this home people think that this is a rich country but that wealth is owned by a very select few. And we used to have people kind of in the middle, kind of going, well, get along, you know, but when I need a car, I can get one. But that's disappearing. And it's getting worse day by day. That's not to make you scared. Trust and believe, honey. The worse things get, the more spiritually fortified you are, the better the solutions are and the inspiration that comes, the better the outcome for you. Right? Because you'll find a way. You'll figure it out. Now, the Six of Michael is moving away. And here's Eight of Raphael. This is also getting away. Trying to find peace by... I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are going to be getting out of the cities. But you, as I've learned the hard way, you can't bring the city with you. Let, let, me, let me break that down for a second. I used to live in New York City, if you guys don't know. I moved to Colorado Springs. You know, I come to Colorado Springs, I was still in that New York, like, rush, rush, rush. Come on, don't have, <laughs> like, I don't even know. It was just sort of ingrained in me. No small talk. Let's just check out my groceries and let's get, let's get the show on the road. And I hadn't really decompressed from the pressure of the city. And it's so funny because now I've lived here long enough. I've adjusted. You can always tell the people who have come here from Los Angeles, San Francisco, Chicago, New York. Boy, they stand out. Ooh, they got a little chip on their shoulder. Everyone's stupid. And you're just watching them like make a fool out of this. It's wild. But yeah, like don't take your city part with you, okay? You need to respect the locals as I've learned. Anyway, so Nate of Raphael says, there's something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. And I also want to say, I'm doing a lot of talking in this video. If you are somebody who's sitting there and you're going, oh my God, just get to the point. You're going to have a bad time. You're the one who's going to be affected the most. Fix it. Fix your human. Fix it. You can't hear another person's story. You can't hear another person talking. Really? Really? That's has to come back to you? Okay. Okay. That's cool. But anyway, um, in order to heal, we need to move away from an old way. And just like this, that's what these two together are saying. 
Now I want to point out the eight here. And then we have the eight of Michael, which is we're trying to get away from the storm. We're trying to find emotional fulfillment. We're trying to figure out how can we come together for some people. Some just are really married to their anger and resentment and just want to be right. They're going to get left behind. They're just doing it to themselves. But this eight of Michael comes forward and says, yeah, but you guys, it's like what people were doing back in 2012. They were taking their ego consciousness and bringing it into the spiritual community. And then what do you have? <sighs> These false gurus, you just nothing but ego, um, religious zealots coming in and telling us how we're going to burn in hellfire. <laughs> I mean, it went on and on and on. Delusional thinking. I'm an incarnated mermaid. Listen, I'm not here to put down the mermaids. They exist somewhere, okay? I've said it before and I'll say it again. If I sprayed you with a hose, would you grow a tail? If you do, I will apologize. If you're a youngin, <laughs> that's the movie Splash. You can probably find that clip. Just, <laughs> just search Splash, comma, hose, I guess. <laughs> fishtail or something it'll come up or if something weird comes up I'm so sorry I, I, that's not where I was trying to guide you but anyway we make everything so dang difficult on ourselves and we take it too far we take our ego with us and what we're trying to do is where's the light oh come out of this uh this gate okay to come out of um the entrapment right so this says you can be free that's what this it doesn't seem like it right now but that's what this is make a courageous choice to change your situation not seeing things clearly. This is a big heads up about getting into victimhood mentality. Woe is me, poor me, you know, the world is unfair to me. This is where, you know, we want to start moving away from people who are behaving as if these world events are only happening to them. Three of Ariel. I can't, I can't with that. You want to see <laughs> another rant? Oh, like, oh, really? You're the only one having, you know, uh, experiencing inflation. You're the only one <laughs> experiencing hardship. Like, come on. Anyway, three of Ariel. We need to learn a new way. No other choice right now. Do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner. See? We're trying to, I don't know if you're going to be able to see all these, but we're trying to move on from a bad situation. We can't take the ego approach, which just keeps us entrapped and swirling around the old way. We need to be willing to crack that gate open and come in and try a different approach. And we will have to relearn a few things. For some people, this is growing your own food. If you're in, especially the Ohio area, uh, what, South Carolina, thank you, Mandy, for letting me know about that. Um, all over like I've lost track they're all over the place you need to get your soil tested okay and you would have to get your soil and your water tested at this point regularly because it's, it's just going to keep looping around right so just be aware of that so this would be the time to curb that ego <sighs> curb that ego can't tell you nothing you know everything Nobody else has anything to offer? Come on. You know, that kind of stuff. So we got good news though. Because <laughs> if we can figure all that out, if we can get our egos in check, I go through it all the time. I'm always catching myself like going, oh, that, I shouldn't have said it that way. Or um, why am I taking this approach to it? That's silly. Those rules don't apply to this. Okay. And it can be very freeing and make amends where you need to. Okay. So once all that gets straightened out, we have Ace of Gabriel. Gabriel helps with communication and helps with giving birth to a new situation. Think the sacral chakra, life force, divine life force, divine creation, choosing another way. The typical interpretation of this is like, oh, it's a sexy card. It's okay. Uh, giving birth to a new situation. Let's, 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 uh, Let's see past the illusions and the distractions. There's a whole lot of tapping into human nature and manipulating it. That's why you see the sexual things that you do out there. That's why there is that type of talk when that energy is sacred. We're starting to wake up to that, women especially. 
where they're saying, you know what? No, I'm not going into a toxic dynamic or I'm not staying in this toxic dynamic. So we're slowly waking up to this. Cool. And no, I'm not a prude. Don't even start with that. There are bigger things going on than that. Okay. So a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So again, there's this whole opportunity here. <laughs> if we break away from our egos and you're doing that spiritual work, there's an opportunity here for another creation, something good to come out of something bad. Having that life force power, having that co-creative ability. Okay. I'm going to grab a card from this deck here. Please make sure you're sharing these videos. It helps the algor algorithm to let other people know that this message is here. And it helps me out a ton. That's a very big way that you can support me. And you can also join one of my lives. Make sure you're checking out the community tab on my YouTube channel, Angel Souls. And of course, if you want a personal angelic message just for you, me tuning into your energy, using angel mediumship to bring through messages from your guardian angels and archangels, go to angelsouls444.com. As of the recording of this, we have uh, 222 coming up, which is an energy portal. Anytime you see repeating numbers in a month, that is an energetic portal potential. Uh, but even if you sign up, don't expect to have your reading right on that day. Some people are jumping to conclusions about that and expecting it on that day when there are lots of people ahead of them. So you're not going to miss 222. You know what I'm saying? It just kind of peaks on that day, you know, but you can use the energy around that day as well. You're not going to miss anything. Right? And again, angelsouls444.com. And also let me know what kind of content you would like to see me do. It doesn't even have to be like spiritual content. Um, what would be helpful? Let me know. Teaching and learning. All right. Archangel Zadkiel, keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Learn new ideas. Uh, then teach these ideas to others. I just heard very strongly, heed the call. Heed the call. What does that mean? That means stop trying to do everything the way we used to. Start seeing through some of these things that are going on out there. But try to do so not from like um, a scare tactic kind of way. But in a, okay, that's something that needs to be remedied. And we have all the power to do it. So we will leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.